Coming up on Mornings on to the Nine, this week is National Suicide Awareness Week. And up next, we are live with a man who says he once planned to take his own life, but who now is working to save the lives of others in similar situations. This week is National Suicide Awareness Week. And all week long, we will be speaking with people who have contemplated suicide and who are now working to help people in similar situations. 17 years ago, Dr. Dane Heer says he had everything going for him, but he still felt that it just wasn't enough. So he set a date to take his own life. For more on what changed his mind, Dr. Heer joins me live this morning. And thank you for being here, Dr. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me, Mike. Um, I read you describe your life as being perfect. Yeah. Everything was going for you. Well, it looked like that from the outside. What happened? Well, the difficulty was, for me, I was a perfectionist from the time I was a little kid. You know, I experienced intense abuse, and my solution to that was to try to become perfect enough so that would never happen again. Fast forward 18 years later, I'm a chiropractor in Santa Barbara. I have a beautiful girlfriend. From the outside, my life looks perfect, but I didn't see any way of creating that future, that perfect future that I was looking for. And so I was depressed, unhappy, and suicidal for three years. Did your girlfriend, did anyone around you friends know you were going through this? No, and this, and this is the thing about it is if I had told anybody, it would have messed up my perfect image. So I was trapped in this cycle of self-judgment, but not being able to get any help and not being able to have a different possibility by telling someone. You're determined to save not only yourself, um, but others now. Absolutely. It's, it's one thing to go through what you did and to keep your head up and keep going, have the life you're living over the last decade plus, but why the desire to help others who are in similar situations today? Well, for me, it's like I became a chiropractor because I wanted to help people. That was okay. really my purpose. Okay. And when I got to this place that was so down that I didn't have another choice, it's like I don't want anybody to have to go through that. And the thing about it is there are ways of changing it. And when you're in that deep, dark hole, you're not looking for ways of changing it. And so I want to tell my story and the stories of others so that people can recognize there is hope, there is possibility. So what was it for you? that got you off that path? Well, I literally, after being depressed for three years nonstop, I finally had given up hope, set a date for my suicide. Of course, it was gonna be perfect, right. you know? And I saw, and I said six, you know, I give the universe six months to change things, basically. And I saw an ad for something called Access Consciousness Bars, and I thought, what do I have to lose? And I remember walking into that session, depressed and suicidal, assured it wasn't gonna change anything. I left an hour and 15 minutes later, looking up at the clouds, I'll never forget the vision. And it was like, has it always been this beautiful here? Mm -hmm. It literally changed the energy uh, in the sense of wanting to die. And I never contemplated suicide again. And I'm not saying that's the answer for anybody okay. or everybody. The reason I bring it up is because I would like people to know there are possibilities for changing this. How old were you? 30 years old. 30 years old. I ask you because the suicide remains the second leading cause of death among 15 to 29 year olds. Right. Um, and the World Health Organization, the WHO, says this increase, and you kind of talked about it, but society's fictional ideal of perfection. Again, yes. the word perfection. Yes. But this is who I consider young individuals, 15 to 30. Yeah. And, but my sense is they're trying to do what they're told is perfect. They're, and, but the difficulty is it sets up this cycle of self-judgment. For anything that you do that's not perfect, now you're wrong. And you also can't say anything about it, otherwise you're not seen as perfect. And the other thing I see with the 15 to 29 year olds mm -hmm. is, you know, for a long time we looked and we saw a bright, glorious, possible future. And I see a lot of people looking at the future going, it doesn't look so good anymore and they want to get out. But we have to be part of creating a greater future if it's going to happen. So let me ask you this. How does one go from not wanting to reach out to wanting to reach out? Well, I if think you had a, the number one. Well, I would say recognize that there is a possibility for change. It look back to some time in your life where life was worth living. And also look at the things and the people in your life that are actually contributing to you that give you that sense that life is worth living. Reach out to them. And the thing is, you know, we have we have suicide hotlines. We have you know, we have so many tools available. Reach out and see what do you have to lose? And be aware. Yeah. Be aware of your own greatness. Absolutely. It's there. Absolutely. It exists. Doctor, I appreciate your time. Thank Thanks you very so much. much for coming in. Dr. Dane here. Uh, we have put more information up about uh, Dr. Here for you on our website at KTVU.com. Look for it in the web link section under the Mornings on 2 tab. You can also find it, of course, on the KTVU mobile app. And if you or someone you know needs someone to talk to in, for some advice here on the National Suicide Lifeline, uh, we have that for you right there, that number. You can also find this on our website, again, at KTVU.com, also under the web link section.